Welcome to Ready Set RC, and today we have the Smith Master RCMK SCR Pro. I don't think I've had an RC this large in the studio since maybe the Outcast 8S when it was first released. This thing is massive, guys. I, I, I can't stress how big this thing is. I can't even get it on camera for you guys to fully see it. Now, I wanted to keep it in the box the way you see it now so that you guys get a full understanding how this thing ships. It's strapped up. It's wrapped all over. We're going to take it out the box so you can see how it's packaged in the box. I doubt if I'm going to be able to show it to you in full on video. I'll probably just take some pictures, show you guys what that looks like. But the other piece of this is I ordered this on a Monday at the end of their day when they're shut down and everything and I got it on the Friday coming from Korea. This thing ships very quickly guys. On their website they have every part listed for this and from what I can see pretty much everything is available for it. So I don't think you're going to have a problem with getting parts and getting parts available because we know how fit scales are and fit scales parts are. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box so you can see how this thing got here to me. So when you take it out of the cardboard box, this is what you're welcome to see. A huge padded case. Let's open this thing up. Let's see what's going on inside. I'm seeing this for the first time like you guys. And look at what we have inside the SCR, guys. This thing looks amazing. Let's get it out of the padded case and I'll show you guys what's going on. Now, before I jump into the RC, I just wanted to show you some things with the case. It comes with these three compartments underneath and then slots for your tires to fit in. There's some decals that you can put onto the RC. You get a metal servo horn. I had ordered the light bar because I like the light bar that I saw that comes with the max version of this truck. So I wanted to make sure I got that. And then there's two sets of pods that I ordered too. They're, they're individuals is how you order them and you have to order two for it to go with the light bar kit. And then this is the rear light bar that I also ordered for the kit. And the last thing that comes with it is some basic tools for your hexes and for your tie rods. But that's pretty much it guys, that's everything that came in the bag. Let's get the bag out of here and get the RC up on the table. Okay, we have the RC out of the box. For those that have never seen this RC before, this is the Smithmaster RCMK SCR Pro. There are two editions. You have the Pro and then you have the Max. I decided to buy the Pro. The Max is hopped up. And I will leave a link in the description of where you can buy this or find out any more information on it. For those of you that like to skip around, I will be putting chapters to every part of the video. So if you want to skip the part, any particular part, just click on that chapter and you'll get right to it. So I'm going to do a little monologuing because some of you folks have never heard of RCMK, Smithmaster, SCR, XCR. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of history because this is not a new company. This is a new RC, but it's not a new company. So I heard about RCMK about maybe eight years ago. Going back as far as I was contemplating between the XCR, which is the buggy version of this truck, and an FID. Both of those vehicles are gas trucks. I was really looking for something more electric than gas at the time. Then stumbled across the XCR, which the XCR is a buggy version of this. For those of you that are not familiar with the XCR, think of the DBXL just built the way you want it. A lot of machine parts are in there. When I first saw the XCR was, was on DDM Racing's website. And as I said, this was about eight years ago. It was that long ago. So this is a Korean based company. Delivery on their stuff and their trucks 
It's super quick, guys. And there are some American-based companies that I'll order from Sunday and still would not get the RC until Saturday. So that tells you how fast they're pushing out these trucks. So where did I first see the SCR Pro? I was watching All Scale RC, Ramon's channel. And I gotta say guys, if you're not subscribed to his channel, go check it out. Hit a like on the video, put a comment in the video saying that you, you saw it on my channel first and then wanted to come check out his channel. But give him some love, guys, because he has some great content. One of the only channels out there that is not afraid of buying RCs outside of the U.S. And that's one of the things that I really tried to push on my channel last year. I've, I've been doing this the entire time, but I really tr started pushing it hard last year that there are other companies out there. If you're willing to wait, and I say this, they're probably not the ones that I would say if you're willing to wait on parts because they seem to ship really fast. But other companies, if you're willing to wait on the parts, try them out, guys. There are, there are some other companies out there that are putting out some great products that we need to start supporting because this is the only way we're going to push the American-based companies to do better. The SCR, guys, does not come like this. These beads that you're, you're seeing here now, I went ahead, took the beads off, and the I took the beads off, spray painted them to a color that I thought would look great on this truck, and you're seeing them today. I did not seal them, so I'm expecting these things to look like crap by the time I finish the first run, but I needed to change it up. Something about that black just didn't do it for me. If you're looking to hop this truck up, they have everything available, but I would say if you're planning to go soup to nuts on the parts, just get yourself the Max. Don't even worry about the Pro. For me, I just wanted some cosmetic stuff, and one of them was the light bar kit. So I went, and get, went ahead and got the light bar kit in the front, and also the light bar kit for the rear. I'm still waiting on the LED for the light bar, because these light bar kits do not come with the LED. And I'm still waiting for the LEDs uh, that I purchased separately from another website to come in before I install the light bar for the rear. Also to note, these RCs do not come with a transmitter or receiver. So you will need a transmitter or receiver for this RC. As for the body, it does come pre-trimmed and pre-painted. Uh, it is hand-painted. It is not a machine that is doing this. It is also hand cut so you may see some flaws like for me I did see some flaws going around this side of the truck for the wheel well I'm just going to finish it up a little bit but for the most part the body looks really good guys it looks really good there's some overspray I'm noticing in certain locations but this thing's a basher it's going to get beat to crap and as pretty as it looks now it's not going to look that pretty by the time I finish running it in regards to manuals or any information on this truck pertaining to documentation, I didn't get anything other than the decals that came with this truck. I went ahead and I put the decals on where I felt it was best on the truck. I reached out to Smithmaster to find out more about the vehicle or more in regards to manuals or 3D renderings on the website or anything like that. They're still in the process of putting all that together for this truck. So there's no information on their website pertaining to 3D renderings or the manual for this vehicle. They are planning on putting that up in the next coming months. And I will say one thing, reaching out to them to ask any questions, they're very quick to respond. So that was the one thing that I noticed with them that really got me to want to purchase this truck is that they were quick to respond to any questions that I had for them. Even though there is a serious time lapse between me being in New York and them being in Korea. The body is locked down with 10 body pins. That's typical for what you would see on a fifth scale RC. Just getting the body off. It's got some weight to it, guys. And as I mentioned, this light bar does not come with the RC. You have to purchase it. If you get the Max Edition, it does come with the light bar. It does come with a spare tire in the rear. 
You can purchase these things separately if you choose to, but if you get the Max Edition, it comes with all of these bits. Underneath, you have the truck backed in black, and there is a roll cage underneath the shell, which is really nice, guys. Really, really nice. As I mentioned, there is a Pro and a Max Edition. They come in three different colors. The color that you're seeing today is the excessive yellow. There's also a Phoenix Red and a Blazing Blue. Ramon's channel, he has the Blazing Blue Edition. Now, some other things you're going to see on the truck that I did to it. Uh, Ramon had actually mentioned putting some foam in the front, and I'm going to roll with this. So this right now is just some pipe insulation. You can get it in your plumbing section from Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever big box store or local hardware store you can buy it from. That's all this is, and I zip tied them up. First off, guys, I'm going to say that most, if not all, of the metal on here, meaning the shock towers, the bracing going to the front, the motor mount, is all machined aluminum. That, to me, is amazing. That's sweet. To see that in a truck like this, that's, that's really sweet. There's some anodized aluminum all over in here, and I think it's perfect. I think they did it right. Uh, if I look at the shock tower, just doing some quick measurements. Shock tower is about five millimeters thick. These lower support arms, which look like they're massive, these lower support arms are 20 millimeters thick. At least as you get towards the kingpins on them, uh, they are about 20 millimeters thick. As we get over here, as you get closer to the knuckles, they're about maybe 18 millimeters thick. The upper links, about six millimeters thick in the upper links. Drive shafts are about seven millimeters thick. So there's a lot of girth on here. I'm not gonna go ahead and measure everything that's on here, but I wanted to give you guys just a sense of what we're dealing with in regards to how this thing is built. So just going front to back, you have a composite front bumper. That support goes all the way back to the shock tower. You have oil filled, coil over adjustable shocks, and these are filled with shock oil, not differential oil. If you guys know what brand I'm talking about that puts differential oil in their shocks. There's some anodized aluminum on the standoffs, on the upper standoffs, and also to the pivot balls down below. There are also some anodized aluminum there too. There is a nice large sway bar coming off the front. CVDs in the front, I'm not going to even say that. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to say CVDs in the front and the rear. Everything is CVDs in here. So you have CVDs not only in the front and the rear, but all throughout. There's no dog bones. It's all CVDs going back to it too. Got to love it, guys. Got to really love this truck. So as I mentioned, you have a machined shock tower. That's five millimeters thick. That goes back to a composite steering plate. And you can purchase an aluminum steering plate for this. It's machined aluminum, adjustable servo saver. And then there is an aluminum chassis support coming off the front, going back to the differential case. The motor mount is also aluminum. And this is what I was talking about in reference to CV, CVDs, CVD type drive shafts going on. So you have one coming from the front differential all the way to the center differential. Another one going from the center differential over to this caption right here. And then another, and then you have the last one going from this caption here, going back to the rear differential. Battery tray is also aluminum and your batteries are fixed with Velcro straps. Then you have a composite chassis brace coming off into the rear. That going back to another machine shock tower, five millimeters thick. And then on the back side of that is the same kind of shocks that you have in the front. Going on in the rear, coil over, oil filled, big bore shocks, aluminum shock caps, and anodized aluminum standoffs to them too. And then you have the rear bumper. These body mounts are all, and they feel, if they're not, they definitely do feel, they feel like aluminum too as well. 
You have an aluminum chassis and it feels about four millimeters thick. I don't know if this is 775 or know what the aluminum content is of it. I'd have to reach back out to them and confirm, but it feels really good, guys. Looking at the chassis, there's nothing etched, nothing special going on. There's composite side guards on there. Uh, there's also mounts for the body on the sides, as I mentioned earlier before. But this is pretty much what you see is what you get. Some skids going off in the front and also in the rear. As for the power that's in this, we're looking at a Max 5 ESC, an 800 kV brushless motor. I'm not exactly sure of the pinion or the spur gear size on this, but the connectors coming off the ES, they give you XT150 connectors. I went ahead and put QS8s, but those of you that you do use XT150s, these should be more than good enough to put down some serious power to this truck. For the servo, they're giving you a beautiful high-tech 8450 fifth scale servo. I used to put high-tech servos in all of my RCs at one point in time. Uh, and then I started getting cheap on my servos, but I do truly like high-tech servos. This may not be the fastest servo out there, but they're pretty strong. Another item that they do provide is a metal servo horn. So I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna keep running this one. If I strip this servo horn out, I'll go ahead and put the metal one on as the backup. But the servo horn comes free of charge. They, they didn't charge me for the servo horn. Receiver that I'm throwing in this, I put my Flysky GT5 in here. So this lead that you're coming off is gonna be for the lights, and that's how I'm gonna connect the lights up. So who is this geared to? This is geared to anyone that is looking to get into fifth scale. I would probably say anyone that's looking at a DBXL or DBXLE as an option, this is a great alternative. You can get this truck in this form or in the buggy, which is going to be the XCR. The XCR comes as a fully loaded buggy, or you can buy it as a roller to install an engine into the truck. So there's multiple different options. Their website, I will say, is a little quirky. I did communicate to RCMK, and RCMK is that stated that they are revamping and building up their website. So just have a little patience with them in reference to how to access parts and how to access the site in these first coming months. But as I mentioned earlier, they're not a new company, they're just revamping themselves. So what's next for this truck? We're gonna get this truck out in some dirt, run this thing on 8S and see what it's all about. I don't know if I'm gonna put 12S in this as of yet. I wanna see how this handles, see where I need to tweak it and change it. And then I'll determine if I wanna give it more power. But we're gonna leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok for the latest updates to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.